Sean on the Borough Police Department. I'm going to answer some of the Ask a Cop questions that we received from kids in our community. These questions were sent to Borough Community Television and the Borough Library who put this program together. Thank you to both those organizations for coming up with this idea. This is a great way for us to keep in touch while we all still deal with COVID-19. Let's see what we have for questions. Hi, I'm Abby. I was wondering if you have a police horse. Question, Abby. Borough Police Department does not have police horses. Most departments that have police horses are big cities that have a lot of traffic. The horses can get places quicker than police cars. I think Abby has another question. Do you have any days off? Yes, we do get days off. There are officers on duty all the time, seven days a week, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Some officers work during the day and some work at night. We take turns working different shifts. Hi, I'm Owen. I was wondering if you had a jail cell at the police station. Burke Police Department does not have jail cells. We use a temporary holding area. People under arrest are secured to the bench while they are being processed by the officer. If a person does need to go to jail, they are transported to the York County Jail in Alfred, which is where the jail cells are located. Let's take a look at our processing area. This is inside the booking processing area. If you're under arrest, you'll be brought into here and you will be placed on this bench and secured to the bench while you are waiting to be processed. We'll take your photo against this wall over here and then we will take your fingerprints at this station here. This is a sneak peek of our new book and processing area under construction here at the police department. We're hoping to be able to use this for the next couple of weeks. Uh, it's a lot larger than the old booking area and we'll be able to hold more prisoners at one time. I have another question. Do you always handcuff people when you arrest them? Good question, Owen. Yes, every person that is arrested is handcuffed. We do that for the safety of the officer and for the safety of the person who is arrested. Do you have a police dog? Berg Police Department does not have a police dog. If we need a police dog for finding people or searching for drugs, we call another police department. Police dogs from Summersworth, Maine State Police, Kennebunk, and North Burwick have helped us with their police dogs. I think we have another police dog question. Hi, my name is Luna, and I have a question. How do you train your dogs to sniff? Bye. Great question, Lena. I asked a couple of friends to help answer that question. Good morning. My name is Lieutenant Dan Pelkey and I work for the North Burke Police Department. For the past eight years, I've been a police canine handler. And for the past three years, I've been working my canine partner, Maverick. He is a six-year-old German Shepherd who is trained in patrol and drug detection. Now, one of the questions Burke PD received was, how do we train the dogs to smell anything? This concept works for everything we may be using. And so the first things we have to come up with is we first have to train the dog to do some basic commands. And so, Maverick, sit. Good boy. Down. Once you train the dog to do basic commands, then you figure out his pyramid of needs. And this sounds really funny to say, but we want to figure out what he likes and the order he likes things in. So for example, food and water. He needs those, but he also can play with a ball, which he really enjoys doing. Good boy. House. Down. Good boy. Good boy. 
once we figure out the things that he likes to do, we then pair the willingness to want that toy with the odor we want him to detect. And so this sounds really funny to say, but pretend that every time you clean your room, your mom or dad gives you a dollar. Well, at some point in time, you might say, you know, I really don't want to clean my room today because I don't need that dollar. But if all of a sudden you clean your room one day and mom or dad gives you $20, you might say, maybe today's the day I get that $20. And so we'll show you with... Down. In this box, we have one of the drug odors that Maverick is trained to detect. And so basically how we would introduce him to it is he would smell this, find it. And we would do this over and over again, find it. And every time that he finds that odor and sits, we then reward him for it. House. Yeah. Sit. Find it. Hi, my name's Camden, and I'd like to know what was your weirdest arrest? My weirdest arrest was when the handcuffs were not unlocked, we had to cut them off the person that was under arrest. Boy, I hope that never happens again. Hi, my name's Zachary, and I would like to know, do you ever play imaginary gunman while clocking people on the side of the road? Burke Police Department use radars that are mounted in the cruises, no radar guns. So if you see a Burke police car on the side of the road, chances are your speed is being checked. Let's take a look at our radar system. Okay, this is inside the police cruiser. Uh, each of our police cruisers has this kind of radar. As you can see, it's mounted to the dash. And not too far from it, mounted into the visor, is the radar cone. That is what measures the speed of cars. We have a cone mounted in the front and we also have them mounted in the back so we can clock cars coming towards us and away from us at the same time. Well, I hope that helps. Keep those questions coming by sending your video question to BCTV or the library. Thank you and we look forward to answering more questions.